uh, binary, the decimal to binary, right? Decimal to binary. I've just set up the, I like to have the production for the source and the test source built in separate spots. That's all I've done. So yes, I like that. It's particularly tricky. Uh, how about just, you want to start with the straight zero test? Yeah, let's use the shortcut control then. We'll get you there. Eh, I'm used to the right click. I'll, I'll do that next time for sure. sure. Cool. Uh, is jbrains.ca okay for the, for the package? Yeah. Just, eh, if I really leave, then you, you will have That's right. I heard it. <laughs> it. Um, so this is convert uh, decimal to binary test. I like to name my like test after behavior, so yep, I don't I care like about that. And how about I like I like uh, you know I, these days I'm not naming my tests as nouns. It's more of the right. behavior that I'm interested in. Uh, I'd like to do TDDs if you meant it. You know the Keith Braithwaite exercise, the whole like drill everything well. Have you seen that yet? No. I'll show you what I mean. So uh, let's take the zero case. So instead of this, no design decisions. So essentially, something like this. So you're doing the assert first. Well, actually, in this case, everything's in one go, and I'm yep. just going to make the the method in in the test, in the so test, and yep. we'll wait until the client needs it before we pull it out. And I figured strings make sense because we're talking about let's, we're not talking about numbers, really. Let's just do integers for now. Right? But I don't know how to do an integer in binary. Like, what would you put here if it was an integer? One zero one. But you can't because it's a hundred and one. Unfortunately, <laughs> Java doesn't know about bases, okay. so we can't really get away with that. Um, so, so I figured if this side's a string, that side should be a string that needs to be consistent. Sure, cool yeah, that? That, that's cool. So this is decimal. And I don't know about you, but I love to run all the tests in the source folder all the every time. time. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. And off you go. All right, so am I going to just fake it for now? If you want. I guess that's the easiest. I don't know how to double this, but let me just. I have it that. set up so that right click is in the bottom right hand corner. So if you want to click, just click a bit to the left. All right. That should be good yeah. enough. And uh, yeah, you have to hold that function. If I get my fixed right. Beautiful. I have it set to not pop yeah. up. Is that okay with you? Yep. All right. Yeah. Can you go to? All right. You want to? You want to? You want to triangulate or drop the duplication? I'm going to triangulate. Okay. So I'm going to write off another test Upper and then T. triangulate. Sorry, man. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, I get it. Okay. It's, it's different shortcuts. Ooh, that's Template. interesting. Yeah. You need to optimize. It'll that. learn. The first one. It'll learn. All right. So what are we gonna call this? We have zero. Do we do the next one as one? Which is that seems simple enough. So we get the basic binaries in place. I'm cool with that. So. And then we'll go to two and go to five. Yeah. Okay. Also, I'm thinking instead of calling it one, maybe, you know. All right. Let's get type the one and then. Type what you want. And let's get let's get the one and then we'll we'll think about it. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do. Ooh. You're looking for duplicate line. Uh, alt. Hold down Alt Command. So alt go to go. Yeah, and then down. Here. Yeah. Alt Command. Yeah. Oh. And then let go of. Yeah. You got it. Okay. All right, and then we just uh, move here. Mm -hmm. We want to get this as one. Yep. And this as well, one. Sure. Run it if you don't mind. I'm pretty sure it's going to fail. Yeah, it should fail. It failed. So <laughs> that should be simple. All enough. right, okay. so let's see here. <coughs> I'm just going to start with the, uh, with the if, so. You actually don't need the return, right? Sorry? You don't need the else, I mean. Yeah, I actually prefer the else for the sake of clarity. I, it's I, a string, yeah. Yeah, that's what I kept forgetting. It's like my unconscious wants it to be an integer, but I don't really have a choice. Um, so I'd like to, I think we're going to end up with a lookup table. So can we, well, I can't really know. I don't know how to get rid of the duplication yet. So I say go to that. I see, you have an idea. I see a lot of people do this, and I, I find sometimes this, you know, while I agree with the spirit of do the simplest thing that could possibly work, uh -huh. this seems a little too basic uh, to me. Like do you have any, you, is there something you want to type? Yeah, let me, go ahead. Let me see what I can do here. Uh, I'll leave it for later. You sure? Yeah, okay. I'll leave it for later. No problem. So you want to now look at any possibility of refactoring this at all? I wasn't sure what to do yet, so I always wait for, for you know, if I'm not sure, I like to wait for a little more evidence. Okay. So 2 should be 1, 0, right? 
Yeah. It's just the way ping pong works, man. <laughs> hmm. So now we actually need to think about how we're going to do the conversion. Uh, is there something in maths or something that can help us with this? Uh, I honestly don't know. The only thing I can think of that we could do is, like, this is converting a single digit. So if you pull that out, then you can sort of loop through the digits, maybe, and do that for... We could loop through the digits if they were separated out, right? Right. But so then you split on the... Is... Uh, oh, we'd have, to, we'd have to convert it and then start doing the chop. Start doing the I mean, when we have more than one decimal place, right. then, then that logic would certainly work. So uh, do you want to just... I'll put the else block in there for now until the pattern's a little clearer. Because I, I'm not, I don't see it yet. Hmm. So another check for... All I see so far is this is how I convert a single digit. 